Hello. I'm going to ask you to play with me. Will you get curious with me? Will you, this one's trickier, be honest with yourself? Hmm. <laughs> so, anybody here, and this is a raise of hands as you feel comfortable. Anybody here ever feel stress? <laughs> Do you feel stress a little more than you want to feel stress? Okay. How many of you know the symptoms of burnout? Anybody here feeling like they might be feeling a little burnout? Did you sign up for that? Did you walk in and say, you know, I would really like some symptoms of burnout? No. So I'm here to talk to you about shift your shit. You heard it. Anybody want to know how to shift your shit? <laughs> All right. My story began more than a few years ago when I had to face what I was willing to do about my life. It was, I don't know, my third or fourth time in court. Um, Ex-husband was very good at evading child support using the system. Mm. And so... The judge looked at me, and the judge said, would you like to put him in jail? That was a tough one. <laughs> Every fiber in my being had an answer. And then I realized that that was not congruent with my authenticity. That was not who I was. That was not my core value. And so I had to walk away from that $20,000, and I chose to empower guess who? Me. My kids were three and eight, and I was working at 100% sales commission. Yeah. <laughs> so you're thinking to yourself, you know, maybe that wasn't her smartest move. I should have listened to my mommy and daddy who told me to go back to the medical field, get a full-time pay, and have benefits. My friends also agreed with that. I chose to stay where I was because, again, that was congruent with what I wanted to give my children. And so I did stay there. I did do that. And then I realized I really needed a strategy. <laughs> I said, Okay, so now you're standing on your own, you're doing your own thing, isn't that wonderful and powerful and all that kind of good stuff, and now how, how, how are you going to do that? So one of the things that I really want to share with you is that I want you to believe that you can empower yourself, but first you have to know what your values are. So in order to shift your shit, you have to first look at it. So that's the curious part, okay? What would you love to feel differently about? How would you like to leave that stress and burnout behind? I chose to bring in a nursing student to live in our home so that it gave me the flexibility to get out and earn the money that I needed to. Uh, it was not a popular decision. Those same people that told me I should go back and get a job also did not think that I should have somebody else in the house. And it turned out to be that I didn't really step away from mothering. I just took on another one because she had lost her mom. And that's when I started to realize that what we have to give can really multiply outward. So let me take you, though, to the strategy. You heard Doug say, do it, delegate it, or dump it. Anybody here feel like you have to do it all? Yeah. Would it be encouraging if I shared with you, you don't have to do it all? <laughs> yeah. So I encourage you to go to those core values. And it's going to take some time, and I encourage you to do it afterward. But you know, your core value might be, um, mine was raising the, the kids. Mine was being authentic to my word. But you have to look at what's right for you, not somebody else's. And then you set up boundaries for yourself. So I chose the do it. 
My biggest do it was, can you guess what my biggest do it was? Money. Go make it. <laughs> Those kids keep wanting to eat. You know, they keep growing. They need more clothes. You know, it's, you, you know the story. It goes on and on. So I chose what I needed to do. I needed to be there to read them a bedtime story. I needed to be there for certain things, but I didn't have to make every meal. I did not have to, you know, jockey them to, from point A to point B. Now, the teenage girl, I do, I do kind of have to reflect on that. So maybe what might not have been the, the easiest choice to have her driving those kids around sometimes. But it all worked. But how do you delegate? When was the last time you delegated, and why don't you delegate? You don't delegate because you think you can do it better. Am I right? OK. So what? So what? It doesn't have to be perfect. You can delegate. Any of you have children? OK. So when my son, who is my youngest, got to be able to wash his own clothes, I got him a stool so that he could reach the bottom so he could get it out. So he's pretty young. But you know what? He's a very capable young man today. He's a very strong father, and he owns his own business. So when we delegate, we empower others. So I encourage you to look seriously at what you can delegate. Now, the dump it is one that I really like, all right? How many of you still cook your own meals? OK. How many of you hire one of those services to? kind of prep those things out. Man, I wish they were here when I, when I was a young mother. And how many of you choose to maybe take a Saturday or a Sunday to do your preparation so that you're all set for the week, so that you can keep everything healthier? So maybe that's a dump it. Maybe a dump it is to say to somebody that loves to cook that's in your family or friends, would you make me you know, two meals for this week? You know, that's a delegated. Or you could dump it and you could go to fast foods, which I'm not highly recommending. So I want you to look at your life and decide what you want. So it's first of all, you look at your core beliefs, and then you look at your habits. What are your habits? Are you somebody who really set, lives by an old story that you've been telling yourself? Are you living with a story that, that mama did it this way, so I need to do it that way? My mother pointed that out to me a couple times that I should really consider that. <laughs> so think about where your beliefs are. And it's about mindset. So I will tell you that one of the last trainings I did that I thought was very powerful is called positive intelligence. And positive intelligence is really about um, the mindset, but it's also understanding that judge. You know that you're not worthy. Why would somebody listen to you? It, it has all those phrases that make us insecure. Anybody know what I'm talking about? I used to call it my good angel, bad angel. Yeah, my bad angel. Woo! She was chatty. And so that's our judge. And when I asked you to be curious, and you said, yeah, you would be curious, and then I asked you to be honest with yourself, you're like, hmm, not so sure about that one. So that's our avoider. So when you can come to understand a little bit more about what's happening in the background and get it more clear, it empowers you. So if any of you are curious, there's an assessment that's completely free. See me after during the break. I'll give you the card for that. It's completely private to you. You don't have to share it with me. But it really helps to give you some clarity and some stepping stones to get you to that do it, delegate it, or dump it. Or in other words, anybody know what I'm going to say? What? What? <laughs> OK. So let's take it into just one more thought for you. And that is, if you dump the old story, can you write a new one? Yeah. So just write down some of what you want to see in your life and start to manifest that and that intention. So. Many years ago, there were not a lot of women role models, a lot more women role models now. But when I was raising those kids, I would look in my mirror and I, you know, anybody have some days you just know we're going to be a little challenging. So I would look in my mirror and I'm like, 
polishing up my belt. I'm Wonder Woman, and I got this today. Okay? So you need to get your power. Grab your power. And ironically, my last message comes from a comic book. And Wonder Woman called herself a badass. I know, back in that day, right? Couldn't believe it either. But you know what my tagline is? I'm a badass with a big heart. Is that all right? So I'm going to invite you. What Wonder Woman said is because when we move forward with kindness, with generosity, with love, with positivity, we make a difference. I'm going to ask you to collectively with me believe that when you move forward with positivity, with love, with kindness, with generosity, we all make a difference. Are you willing to say with me, let's shift our shit? Yeah, you ready? You ready? Let's shift our shit. Thank you.